How's it going, guys? Change your 32 here, Rack Noobs Gaming. We're going to do a little uh, unboxing and product review, give you the initial impressions on this. So, uh, Scuff Gaming sent me a Scuff Infinity One for Xbox. Well, I guess Infinity One is for Xbox. So, I'm going to let you guys take a look at this. So, got a little card over the box here. So, has a uh, nice embossed box. So, got a couple of papers on the top. So, it says, Welcome to the world of Scuff. The rules of your game have changed. And then, a whole bunch more. Thank you, thank you. So on and so forth. Uh, got a manual. So the manual, I'm sure, has all kinds of lovely information in here about the company, about the product, how, how it works, what it does, all of that. So I'll have to take a look through there, see if there's any anything I need to know. Um, but let's see it. So what we have here is the Scuff Infinity One. <clears throat> this is part of the eSports collection. So this particular one is the Clayster. So uh, Clayster partnered with or collaborated with Scuff. And this is one of his controllers or his designs, I should say. So. Uh, this particular one has uh, a soft finish on it, so it's not really padded, uh, but it's like a real soft, soft texture to it. Um, love the design on it, the, the kind of um, gradient color in the different lines going through it. Um, I don't think the camera does it too much justice, but uh, you know the directional pad silver, silver trim through here has the the solid silver buttons you know so don't have the what the the different buttons are it's just a, a solid button because i mean most of us you know we don't we don't need to look at a button to know what it does um same for the start and select button yeah it's just uh you know solid silver <clears throat> i wish they had done a silver ring for it, you know, because you have all this silver trim and then, you know, you just got these little white rings here. But, you know, still amazing looking at it. The, the white goes good enough with the silver. It has the custom uh, Xbox button, you know, so instead of the little X that we're all used to, have, uh, you know, Cloyster's little symbol there. Um, this one actually has the standard analog sticks. So these are the same analog sticks that you would get on, you know, your everyday um, Xbox controller. You know, for comparison, here's the one from the last video. So, you know, it's the, the thumbsticks are the same. Didn't get the, the concave or convex, you know, but they actually offer a whole lot of options and customization on it. So, you know, if you wanted to get you know, a long thumb stick, you know, on your left side or right, you know, which I mean, they're interchangeable anyway, but you know, you could get them long, concave, convex, you know, however you really want it. You know, the, the customization options are, are, you know, extensive. And, you know, for the directional pad, you know, you can put the little uh, elite style, I don't, I don't know if you call it elite style, but you know, they have a the little round cover that goes over it that kind of gives you a different feel. Um, to your directional pad. Um, the box came with uh, you know, a little tool here, looks like, to change out the thumbsticks, some batteries, and you know, a couple other things. Um, you know, the controller, I mean, the front of it, you know, this just looks great. You know, it's amazing. The, the front of it, you know, the, the silver, you know, carries throughout to our shoulder buttons, you know, our triggers. Has good feel to it. I have a little scuff there, and then the back. You know these paddles. You know, look great. This one, like I said, it's the Clayster version, so uh, 
you know, I think normally it says like scuff and, you know, scuff or scuff game and, and it has the little, little various things on here, but you know, it's uh remappable. So, you know, you can, uh, change these paddles to go with whatever you want. <clears throat> you know, when I first, uh, first seen scuff i was like the the placement on these paddles i thought were kind of odd you know especially like if you've seen an elite controller it's like the the elite controller you know you have kind of the the paddles coming over here to the side more and it's kind of more natural with how you hold the controller you know with your fingers underneath but most of these face buttons i mean it's not like a button that you're constantly hitting so you know your more used buttons you just map out to these outside buttons, you know, so like one would be like jump, one would be reload, and then, you know, your other less used buttons is what you could, uh, you know, map to the the center buttons underneath here. You know, those two there, that'll be your less used ones, and, you know, like that would be jump, you know, that could be reload. That way, you know, your your hand's still in a natural position. You know, overall, I have to say it looks like a great controller. Um, you know, haven't played with it yet. You know, so I'll uh, play with it a day or two. You know, see how that goes. You know, maybe do another video for for their initial impressions. Um, <clears throat> you know, I've been playing with uh, this thing for a while now. You know, well, not a while, week or two. Um, and you know, I'm loving it. You know, those, uh, the bond quick shots, you know, they're great, man. Yeah. I highly recommend them, you know, so we'll see, we'll see, uh, how it goes playing with this a little bit. I'll do a follow up video, let you guys know, uh, been playing a whole bunch of, of different games here lately, you know, and with, uh, E3, uh, you know, all the press conferences just happening. Lots of really, really amazing looking stuff coming out that I can't wait to play. I've uh, give you guys a little sneak peek. I've been uh, playing a little bit of uh, Quake Champions, so uh, you know I'll I'll let you guys in on some uh, footage from that here soon. I'll I'll get some good clips together and uh throw them up on the channels for you guys to uh to watch. But uh yeah. again, thanks for watching. Yeah, definitely uh you know if uh a modded or I shouldn't say modded because it's not modded. If if a custom controller you know is something you're in the market for you know definitely take the time go over look at scuff you know there's a, a couple options out there you know and uh you know from what i can tell you know scuff is definitely uh among the top of those options you know if you're wanting something to take your controller to the the next level on uh functionality but thanks for watching guys and until next time later